a budget deal reached and now comes the details. Governor Tim Walls and legislators struck a deal Sunday night. Reporter Meredith Hackler spoke with legislators from our area to get reaction. Meredith? Shannon, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle had to compromise to come to an understanding. One thing that isn't going to be included in the budget is the controversial gas tax that was strongly supported by Democrats. Republicans said that that was a deal breaker. First term representative Ginny Clivborn says she was disappointed to not see that measure pass. She says that without a new form of funding, certain projects will only become more expensive. We have engineering firms who want consistency in their work, and we need to be able to do these jobs when they are at their least costly. We're just seeing with the Rockford Road Bridge, as you well know, how the construction bid has now gone up. And the more we delay these projects, the more it costs us. While DFLers compromised on the gas tax, they were able to get a 2% increase each year for the next two years for public schools. DFL leaders originally wanted a 3% increase. One item that many Republicans oppose but will stay under the budget deal is an extension of the medical provider tax at a slightly smaller rate of 1.8%. It pays for the cost of care for lower income Minnesotans. Republican Representative Kristen Robbins of Maple Grove does not support the tax, calling it a sick tax. Basically, the sicker you are, the more you're paying of the tax. So people who have really expensive treatments like cancer or, you know, intensive surgeries or whatever, they are paying more of the tax. So it's very regressive. So I do think we need to provide adequate funding for health care, but I don't support this mechanism. And I was disappointed to see that they came out with that. Now, while lawmakers did come to an agreement on Sunday, there is a taxpayer funded special session expected to take place on Thursday where lawmakers as well as Governor Tim Walls hope that a budget will pass. Live at the Capitol, Meredith Hackler, CCX News. All right. Thank you, Meredith. The budget also includes more funding for schools. Lawmakers approved $540 million in new spending for public schools and another $150 million for higher education. When you break down the numbers, it's about a 2% increase each year on the per pupil funding formula districts use for their day to day costs. The Anoka Hennepin School District wanted a 3% increase, which the governor had initially proposed. A spokesperson says there will most likely be reductions during the 2021 school year.